Alright, so welcome back to the second part of the water temple. We just completed the first floor and now we're going to be working our way to the second floor. Make note of the brown, brownish red uh, platform that is right ne near the door. And then just hook shot, on, hook shot to the target on the upper platform up on the second level. You'll see that there is another Triforce symbol up here. And so you want to play Zelda's Lullaby, which by the way is in the shape of a Triforce on your controller. So that is how you can remember that it is the song you play whenever you see these Triforce symbols. Uh, so notice the water level rises and reveals a hidden corridor that is beneath that platform that just rose up. So you want to uh, go in between these two platforms and then sink down using the iron boots so that we don't land on top of these spikes. So once you've done that, then you want to just sink down into the hidden corridor right there. So once you make it into this room, you want to hookshot the crystal switch that is right across the way, and just make sure you stay far enough back because you'll hear the battle music that has started. This uh, will reveal the uh, grating that is blocking a bunch of enemies. This will make several uh, spikes as well as several um, shell blades fall down. So you want to just kill them from afar because there's no need to get close. That just is dangerous. So as you, once you've picked them all off, this will open up the other um, grating on the other side, and you can float up there and get a small key. So you should have two small keys at this point. If you do not have two small keys, then you are in trouble. So just uh, now we're going to I'm going to dive down here because uh, when you when you dive you will um, swim back up really quickly and because this area right up ahead we sunk down really far to get down into this room uh, we're going to swim back up it really quickly as opposed to putting on the iron boots and then floating up slowly so check this out we're going to zip up to here so that is it for this room for now uh, so just go ahead and exit and we will return here at a later time so go ahead and exit the door So now, if for whatever reason you want to get back in that room, you'll see it is blocked off, but you can reopen it by shooting an arrow through this torch here, so... I don't know why you would want to do that in the regular quest, it doesn't make much difference. In the Master Quest game, uh, you have to go in through that door uh, by that method. So, in any case, just ignoring that, ignore what I just said. You want to continue heading clockwise around the room following the left wall, so we're going to go through this room right here. Uh, and if you come through here when it's underwater, then there's a bunch of stingers here, which are like stingrays, and they will swoop towards you underwater and everything. They're pretty dangerous underwater, but in any case, because we have the water level at the second level, we can get in this room without having to worry about stingers. So hookshot up onto the target, and then turn around and hookshot to the farthest target so that you do not land on the spikes. Uh, now you want to head over to the large chest. It is blocked by a geyser, so shoot the crystal switch to make the geyser go down for just a moment, and then quickly open the chest to get the compass. So that is it for this room, so jump on down and just avoid touching the spikes, and then we're going to head back to the main room. Now, real quick, I want to mention that if you remember when that room where we met Rudo, um, there was that, on the second level, there was that, uh, that wall that had all the cracks in it, so we're going to head back there. So put on the iron boots, sink down, and turn around, and you'll see that there is that corridor with the two torches. So we're going to head through here. This leads us back to where we met Rudo. Then you want to take off your iron boots and float up to the surface, and this will take us to that second level. So because this uh, level is dry now, and uh, we can get to it, so you can lay bombs. And so now you can get into this little area. It reveals that there is a small chest in here that contains a small key. Ta -da! So that is it for here. You want to return to the main room and then just take off your iron boots and we're going to go back to the second level. Uh, that is all we're going to do on this lower floor. Uh, so once you get back to the second level, we're going to continue working our way clockwise around the room. Yeah. Yeah. 
So here there is a, we can't actually go through this doorway right now, I'm just going to point it out. You need the bow and the dungeon item in order to get into that doorway, so we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, in any case, you want to head around, and you should have three small keys at this point. If you do not have three small keys, and you are missing one. So go through the locked door here, uh, and then here you want to run over to the geyser and then lure the um, blue tektite down. So kill it, and then you can get on top of the geyser. And there are two ways to do this. You can either shoot it the crystal switch with a bow, or you can use a bomb and get on top of the geyser. And when it goes off, then you will uh, be lifted up into the third level of the dungeon. So once you appear out here, you want to uh, play the Zelda's Lullaby for the Triforce symbol that is up here. This will raise the water level to the third level, which is actually where this temple started out as. So you'll see this cool cinema in which the water is rising. And now we're going to just continue working our way, uh, heading clockwise around the room. So just get on top of this platform and enter the locked door. So you should have two small keys at this point. If you do not have two small keys, you will not be able to do this next section. So head on in here, and then you want to kill the two um, keys here that are blocking the way, and then you want to hop on down to the platforms below us. I want to point out there is a gold scatula that is off to our right. Um, it is up high, we cannot reach it quite yet, but we will be able to uh, later, so we will return here to collect that token. So I turn back around and we are going to work our way up this uh, area. These platforms are slowly sinking down the waterfall, so you need to uh, just use your hookshot to repeatedly get up onto the platform right above you. So keep doing so to work your way up the um, up this waterfall. And then once you get up to the top, you want to hookshot the target that is leading up to the last platform. So get up there and you'll see that there is another locked door. So you should have one small key remaining, so this should be just enough to get you through the door. Once you head on here, there are three tektites that are down low, so you can either kill them now, or you can raise the water level and then in this room and then uh, attack, lure them over here to dry land where you can attack them with your sword. Either way, you should defeat them before you actually tackle this puzzle, so that way you don't have to worry about them. So to initiate this puzzle, you want to shoot the crystal switch, and this will make the water level rise, and then you can work your way to the next platform. Um, now, if at any point during this puzzle you um, fall down into the water, you want to equip the iron boots to sink down, and then you can use your hook shot to hit the crystal switch to make it rise. Uh, once the water is um, up at a high level, you can swim to the first platform. So now we're going to work our way to the third platform. Just shoot the crystal, or shoot the target here, and you need once the water is low, you can climb over the head of this statue right here. So once you're on this other side, you want to shoot the crystal switch again to rise uh, the statue that is on the fourth platform. This way you can hookshot to its target and you can get on that platform. At that point we are going to get onto the uh, platform that is above it. So in order to do that we're going to lower the water level again in order to climb on top of the head of the statue. So once we're on top of it you want to turn around and just shoot the crystal switch one last time in order to rise, make the statue rise uh, to lift you up into the final area. So that was a pretty clever puzzle, huh? Once you've done that, you want to climb up and uh, attack the blue This should be plenty easy for you at this point. And now there's a like like just on the other side, and you can hookshot uh, the stat or the target that is on the ceiling. Uh, unfortunately, the like like will then gobble you up and eat your shield and tunic. So I suggest you just use bombs to kill the like like before you ever head over to the other side. And so in this next room, there is the first mini boss of this dungeon, uh, which is Dark Link. And this guy is pretty intense, so I suggest you collect all your goodies and maybe have some fairies ready. And uh, join me for the next video, and I'll show you how to tackle him.